Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is how I beat Audrog with two pets in order to level a third one. Audrog is a master tamer found here at High Mountain in Legion, and he's available to fight whenever his world quest, Snail Fight, pops up. Completing the world quest gave me 17 pet charms, and doing it with two pets like I'm about to show you will get one of your leveling pets close to 4000 XP. In my first slot, I have a leveling pet. This can be as low as level 1 in any type, so I brought along my new fetid waveling. Doing this with the safari hat got him from level 1 up to level 11, so I recommend bringing along a baby. In the second slot, I grabbed my spirebound crab with snap, healing wave, and shell shield. The exact type of crab doesn't really matter, I picked the one I had with the highest attack stat. The magical crawdad or any turtle pet will work too. Basically, you want a single hit beast damage attack with a mitigation move, which gives you a lot of options. The crab definitely did best though. Because we're fighting snails and snails are very slow, you want to bring the slowest pet you can to get the most mileage out of your health and attack stats. In my third slot, I have my Flayer Youngling set up with Triple Snap, Deflection, and Rampage. Your third pet can be pretty much anything with beast damage, I liked the Flayer for his high attack, and Deflection's kinda handy. The deweaponized Mechanical Companion will also do very well with Thrash and Extra Plating. Alright, so you don't have to pick up the quest, as soon as you approach Audrog you're going to have the snail fight in your world quest log. Make sure that you have your leveling pet in your first slot and your safari hat on, and we can go ahead and get this started up. So go ahead and use any move, doesn't really matter, the most useful one you have on your bar. Um, Rocklick is going to apply his uh, spiny carapace first, that's going to do a little bit of damage to you, but that's why we, I mean, it's not enough to kill you, you're only level 1. That did strong damage to me and I still survived. After that you switch in your crab, so your strategy with your crab, you're going to maintain your shell shield, you're going to spam him with snap, and then you're going to healing wave whenever really you feel like it. Uh, Rocklick does this thing called stone form, which is basically a hibernate, um, it's a big 3 turn heal, and it's pretty much going to heal him to full. I tried a couple of different strategies to mitigate that healing, but I found that the best way to handle it is just to deal right damage right through it, and then make use of the extra time to be healing yourself. So snap is going to deal very strong damage to him, but because it's only one hit, you're not going to be taking a bunch of spiny carapace damage, and even if you were, your shell shield is going to be mitigating all of that, so you're not taking extra damage from that. And then we're just going to murder him down with snap while maintaining our own health with healing wave. This does take a little bit because he does heal himself up. But you are going to have more than enough damage to punch right through that, and his um, his stone form is on a 6 round cooldown, so he's pretty much just going to do it the one time. And you can go ahead and healing wave whenever you feel like your health is in danger, or you just have a second. So slow mo comes out after the first crab comes down. And of course, whenever your shell shield gets to one round remaining, you want to reapply that, and aside from that, just spam your snap, and then healing wave whenever necessary. So it was down to one, we're going to reapply the shell shield. He's going to go ahead and headbutt. I actually got stunned here, so this is a good example of some bad luck. Um, as you can see, the fight's still pretty easy, it doesn't really matter if you get stunned or not. I go ahead and heal myself up there just to get a little bit of extra health, and uh, then go back to snapping while maintaining the shell shield. So, um, the nice thing about having shell shield up against slow-mo in particular is it's going to be reducing a lot of the damage from his absorb, which reduces a lot of the healing that he gets from absorb, so as long as you keep that up, he's not going to be healing himself too much, and you should have no problem out DPSing it with snap. So, here we go. Um, at this point, if I wanted to be really extra super safe, I could go ahead and healing wave, but I'm almost done two pets, and I'm just kind of impatient at this point. We have more than enough uh, gas in the tank to finish this fight really easily. And the third pet comes out, and it would be totally fine if my crab was dead by now, but you know, he's not, so I'm just gonna keep snapping. Again, I could heal and be safe, but you know, who, who needs to? So he's gonna go ahead and put that dot on us. It doesn't really matter because, again, we have shell shield that mitigates all of it. He goes ahead and dives. If I had my flare out, I would be deflecting right now, but um, I didn't need him yet, so we go ahead and just keep snapping, just keep snapping. Um, the flare, I just wanted to point out, would have been very good against his pet because he does very strong damage, um, he's got beast damage, and then of course deflection is good for avoiding dive. But as it turns out, we don't need him because crabs are just too good. And uh, there you go, 4000 XP, level 1 to 11 on the leveling pet, and 17 pet charms, not too shabby. And that's how I do it. This fight is very easy to two-man using readily available pets, so even beginners can use it to level a pet when the world quest comes up. I'll be putting together family-specific teams towards the family familiar achievement as time goes on, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!